fighter in the world at 135 pounds, and he's tonight he's going to try and prove it in front of everyone in his hometown of Hawaii. This is a huge fight for Hawaii. Seeing their number one fighter fight another number one, number one contender. And he looks focused as he is in any other fight I've ever seen him. They love him here in Hawaii. It's amazing. The fans, they just love him. I'm training with Rudy Valentino for kickboxing. And I've been, for this fight, I've been training with my whole team back in Hilo, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school down there. I'm a Jiu-Jitsu world champion. I'm black belt in Jiu-Jitsu, and um, I like to punch. Well, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Gomi Penn. BJ looks a lot shorter than that 5'9 frame, and Gomi looks a lot taller, but BJ actually has that three reach, three inch um, advantage. We'll see if it comes in uh, contention. BJ's definitely gonna wanna bang with them. Let's see if Gomi wants to stand and bang or he immediately goes for the takedowns. Gomi's camp decided no knees to the head on the ground. That tells me Gomi wants the fight to go to the ground and he's gonna shoot. BJ Penn, you saw his shirt, just scrap. And that's famous words right here in Hawaii. Let's go Five to rounds for the lightweight championship of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event. This will be for the Mixed Martial Arts Lightweight Championship of the World! <laughs> Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, with the Kikuchi Dojo, currently ranked number two in the world. Standing five feet, six inches tall, 154 pounds with a record of 13 and one. Please welcome... Gomi Takanori! And his opponent, from Hilo, Hawaii. With BJ Penn's Mixed Martial Arts Academy, standing five feet, nine inches tall, 155 pounds, with a record of five, one, and one. He is currently number one in the world, BJ Penn! It's very interesting, BJ is really, really intense when he fights. Gomi looks really, really relaxed. BJ with the double leg. Gomi tried to throw a right hand. BJ. Nice takedown by BJ. He's trying to pass, stepping over that leg. It was a half guard. Gomi trying to control that wrist. He just steps over that knee. And right now it's just a chess massive uh, ground game right here. BJ Penn is considered by many the best 155 pound fighter on the ground. He's the first non-Brazilian black belt world champion in only four years of training jiu-jitsu. Incredibly flexible. Let's go, bottom Let's Using go. shoulder strikes there, Gomi looking to keep the keep BJ's arms tied up and maybe get the fight restarted. <clears throat> Good inside circle with that that arm to get that arm free from that overhook. BJ gets it, takes the mount. And now to back. Beat is so incredibly flexible. It's very difficult to get him off the back. The allowed back hits. Beat locks his legs in. Look for Gomi to make a quick turn to try to get out of this back technique. Gomi's got to try and face him. Beat is doing a good job of controlling the ground and keeping him on the keeping him on the ground. Don't let it. Gomi stand up. Went for the one on one right there. Keep his hooks in. He's gonna try to stretch to extend him out. Little underhooks with that hand. Short. 
Destiny wants to take his time. He doesn't want to rush at this point right here. What's Pound him. Trying to use the punches to open up the submission. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got the whole crowd behind BJ right here. I would never expect BJ to take his back this quickly. He wants to get him back on the ground. Gomi's doing a good job of keeping his balance right here. He's trying to get too aggressive with it. You don't want to get too aggressive with those punches. No, BJ's got to try and extend him. Flatten him out where he can pound away like he did against Gilbert. He just got a body triangle, but it's a kind of modified body triangle that leg is inside. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't go for the figure four around the waist. I think he's trying right now, and he does. Figure four around the waist. Oh, he tries to drop an elbow there. Don't be trying to shake him. Good job by Gomez escaping up. I was in BJ's guard. This is where Gomi makes his money right here. Yeah, this is where Gomi won 14 fights on top. It's one thing about the Japanese fighters. They're in bad position. Uh, Uno is in bad position a lot of times against Dean Thomas. Real calm, collected. And against BJ. You're right. They, 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 they. They stay calm and wait for their opponent to make a mistake and they, and, and they try not to force it themselves. And he did that. He waited out. He waited out the storm. Now BJ's on his back. Let's see BJ work from here. BJ looking to stand up. BJ looking to make space there, get the feet on the hips and stand up. Let's go, let's go. Super flexible with BJ, but almost impossible to pass his guard. Look how high his guard is. Amazing. He's looking to lock up that arm with that high guard. Let's go, let's go. Like there's some blood. I think there's some Gomi. Good BJ, job, Abidia, nice getting back up. Good job. <laughs> nice oh, big nice takedown by BJ. BJ Penn hit him with a left hook and followed with a double leg takedown. <laughs> Beautiful. And now he's getting him out again. Over. Unbelievable. And he takes the back and he has the hooks in again. And he wants to be a little more patient. Let's see if he takes a little more time, sets his position up. And Gomi has definitely showed that he can escape from this position. Gomi bleeding from the mouth. Probably from those uppercuts, maybe. Huge elbows. Tries to go for a reverse arm lock across his neck. 30 seconds, if I was BJ, I would go for the choke right here. Why not? It's 17 seconds left here. Going down. Gomi's either busted job. from the nose or the mouth. I believe the nose. Gomi's doing a good job of weathering this storm. He's taking some punishment. He's taking some punishment, but he's not getting submitted. That's right, he's still in the game. BJJ black belt like BJ Penn on your back for three minutes of a round and not get subbed. You know, I gotta take my hat off for Gomi for hanging tough. Let's just hope BJ's not gassed out. He went really hard in that first round. He looks good in this corner. He does look like he worked hard in that first round. Gomi looks pretty relaxed. Here we go back to the relay. Little trade, BJ goes right for the takedown. Nice clean takedown. Nice takedown. Good, good wrestling. Driving, driving. Not just shooting and stopping like you see a lot of fighters do. Driving through on the takedown. Real collegiate Iowa wrestling style. Drive together with that, uh, that uh, shoulder in so when he landed. He definitely took some shoulder in the gut. Gomi's up walking around. BJ looks good too. BJ looks fresh. Both fighters look fresh. Very impressive first round for BJ. Let's see if BJ tries to keep it on the feet or takes him right down again. It's like some blood from the mouth and the and the nose from Gomi. See if BJ goes back to the stand up or he goes right straight back to the takedown. Nice knee. Knee like that, knocked out the Thomas. Nice high kick. BJ. Nice. Oh, and a right hand by BJ Penn. Gomi tried to throw it. BJ slips it. Over the top right hand by BJ Penn. 
Looks for a shot, Gomi defends well. Left hand, right hand by Gomi, gets to the inside. Both guys land, Gomi throws the jab. He just tries to pummel in. Looks like Gomi's a little more aggressive this round. Good nice. jab by Gomi. Takes the uppercut. And another jab by Gomi. Now he's showboating. Nice! Another Combination, right, right, left and hook. left hook by BJ Penn. And Gomi, Gomi goes down. Gomi may be hurt. They gotta down. watch out, he's not gonna play possum. Gomi slips out. Good strategy, the Japanese are excellent strides. They always seem like they're hurt. Suck the fighter in. Nice reversal by Gomi. And he ended up where he wanted to be, on top of BJ Penn's guard. He's trying to grab the, the left hand underneath his armpit. Both fighters now resting a little bit. There was a lot, a lot of action and a lot of energy spent in that round. And that was only the first uh, minute and a half of this fight, of the second round. Gomi trying to pound away. He just trying to make some space to get up. DJ looking on the platter, I believe. This is where his flexibility comes in handy right here. Gets that leg nice and high. He's about to generate any type of power to punch. Is it being busy on the bottom? Gomi's looking for some space to land some shots. Looks like right now, he just seems to be getting the better of the punches. Gomi asked for a clean of his mouthpiece, probably from the excessive blood. And they're gonna stand him to see him back on their feet. Very interesting. Let's see who's gonna try and keep it on the feet and who's gonna try and take it to the ground right here. Gomi sticks out a sneaky little jab. Big right, right hand. Bomb over the top right hand. I think Gomi may be trying to low BJ into being kind of um, reckless with his punches. He is holding in Rocky with the right. Gomi, good shot defense. He just sticks in a little knee. BJ is trying to take the fight to the ground to be on top. He's so successful there. Gomi sits in a punch jams. there. Stop crying. Oh, nice left hand there. Left hook. BJ Penn's left hook is finding the mark. Both fighters exchange jabs, but BJ's pen left hook is, is finding the mark. Gomi have the sneaky little jab. Just looking out there. Nice right hand lands by Gomi. Gotta watch that guillotine. Going for the guillotine. And it gets out. BJ looks tired. Gomi looks a little fresher right here. He does. Gomi lets him go. I tell you what, folks, this is a war. This is a war. Gomi's throwing some nice, crisp jabs right there. Both fighters working their jab really, really nice and handy. We got one minute left in the second round here. You know, and Wilbur follows up with a one-two, the right hand behind the jab, I think is going to be successful. They're both landing their jab. Neither fight is throwing the right hand after it. BJ Penn trying to knee in the clinch. He's going to tie clinch here. And here's the wizard by BJ Penn. Gomi's going to good job. Off. More because of fatigue than anything else, I believe. Gomi's doing a good job of keeping his head up to avoid those knees as well. Good job getting up by BJ Penn. Tries to arm drive with the nice back. Right hand. I believe we're going to end the round there. We've got under 30 oh, seconds left in this round. BJ trying to steal the round. We've got about 15 Anybody's seconds left. Right here. 10 seconds left. It's very exhausting to keep on trying these takedowns and getting defended. BJ scores the takedown. Just at the end of the round. Two here. seconds left. 
Was that enough to steal the round for him? What a fight. I mean, BJ the first round, that round was very, very close. BJ got great position. Um, during that round, Gomi came on strong. Looked like he um, got his second win during that round. Um, very, very quick jabs. A couple of changes here. With BJ he's landing those short right hands on the inside, the dirty boxing. Solid shots, and his head's not going anywhere with that hook. Another look at it. BJ hooks it good. Big right hooks here, right hand. Do right up, uppercut right here. Over the top and underneath. Gomi, good job getting BJ off him. Man, it's gut check time. Round three. It's a really, fairly fast paced match. Right now, to me, Gomi looks a little, a little fresher. A little fresher. He does. He looks like he tried to weather the storm in the first round, and he's starting to come back strong later in the round. Hopefully, maybe the, um, the audience psyching BJ up would kind of tire him out. Maybe too much adrenaline. This is a huge round right here, round number three. Huge. He just sticks out a little jab. Sticks another jab. Threw the right hand there. See, I think BJ Penn should throw that right hand after the after the jab, not by not, not by itself. Gomi sees it. Now Gomi jab it. Needs the body by DJ Penn. Nice, nice slip of that punch. Let's see if he can finish that takedown. Nice single leg. Nice finish. He finished by pulling the pipe. He's got the guillotine tight, though. The tight guillotine. Yeah, he's got to make sure that. Guillotine. He just got to oh, make sure. Good job, you did. Good job of making sure that he didn't lock those legs up like Coleman did. He's in good shape now. He got to get his hand free. Straight to long position again. He's giving his back. He's got the back again. The Japanese fighter is so good at defending. He's got the arm, the leg, the body triangle on him. He wants to keep that one-on-one -on -one to keep his upper body on Gomi's back. Kind of call himself back up. Yeah, he should look to drop elbows here. Yeah. I, I would be dropping elbows on, on, on Gomi here. This is a huge position. You gotta look for the finish here. This right here is a Japanese table escape. They usually grab one arm, put it over the head on the opposite side, and then roll out that way. Um, let's see if he does it. Usually if they try to defend it, they go for like a little um, reverse arm bar against their neck. So far, BJ's been uh, pretty good at defending that. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he scouted it. BJ's landing a bunch of shots right here. There goes the mouthpiece. And here's the elbow. I that was Gomez's mouthpiece. We got three minutes left in this round. Explode. Sneak into those uppercuts. BJ just dominating right here. There it is. He locked it in. Matalel is locked in. Is he gonna tap? He's gonna go sleep. Did he tap? tap? Unbelievable. BJ Penn has done it. He's tapped. Unbelievable. He almost Unbelievable. Won. He almost knocked out his second guy. <laughs> we gotta give him some air. The white fans are so stoked they're knocking their fighter out. Very, very impressive win against a guy who was ranked number two. He did reaffirmed why he's ranked number one in the world. Took down the wrestler from the Kiguchi Gim, dominated him on the ground, passed his guard, mounted him. Incredible back attacks. Punished his opponent, took some hard shots himself, came back, took his time, and got the choke, the rear naked choke for submission.
Very impressive win and a great fight. You're a happy man. <laughs> Gomi took some punishment. Bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the mouth. Let's go to Phil Baroni. If he can... Well, let's get the official announcement first. Doctor's still checking on uh, Gomi. BJ goes there, offers him. The warrior that Gomi is. Stands up, acknowledges. He just smashed his nose, good too. Gomi is definitely a warrior. Let's go for the initial official announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of rear naked choke, your winner and world champion, BJ Pan! All the people that came from the Elder Islands to come here support BJ. He definitely performed. Here's the final finish right there. He did locks in the submission. Squeezes it. The first goal didn't look like he was gonna tap. And he decided. He said that's it. Let's go to Phil Broni. Congratulations, BJ Penn. Finally, world champion. I guess the third time's the charm, champ. Third time's the charm. I saw the other two times I was there. This is it. You proved it. You fought in your hometown, and you did it. You could have fought a chump here, and everyone would have came out, but you chose to fight the best. I, I take my hat off to you. Congratulations. You are the best fighter in the world, 155 pounds. I love you. Everybody here loves you. Congratulations. Thank you, Phil. Thanks for coming down. You know what? I may maybe proof of what I've been saying all along. Hawaii has the best fighters in the world. We grow up fighting. That's all we do. I want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting. And that's it. I don't talk much. So thank you very much for coming out. Congratulations, BJ Penn. Thank you for having me. I love you. You deserve it. Good job, champ. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for coming. Your champion, BJ, the prodigy pen. Gomi, good fight. Good fight. I thought BJ was getting tired there in, in the second round, but he came out strong in the third. Did you expect BJ to uh, go for the takedowns like he did, or did you expect it more to be a stand-up fight? Uh, BJ got uh, 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 no, no, he didn't expect uh, that sort of scenario. And uh, probably physically, he was a bit stronger than himself. That's what he realized the uh, first few minutes. So, so BJ Penn w w was stronger than you thought he would be. Um, how about the jiu-jitsu game? Did you ever, did you ever uh, fight anyone with jiu-jitsu like BJ Penn? Uh, jiu-jitsu, so you can't do this fight for a long time. Well, if I was with BJ, I would be able to become his sensei. Uh, he'd be happy to take some lessons. Gomi, it took, you, uh, it took a lot of guts for you to come out here to Hawaii and fight BJ Penn in his hometown. Um, I take my hat off you. Great fight. Uh, congratulations on putting in, in a good effort. You're still a champion of my book. Everybody, please say hello to Gomi when you see his face tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gomi. Thank you, sir.